Good day everyone. It's approaching 4pm and you're with me for your sway and stretch. I hope you're getting ready for it. Um, if you are playing catch up today at any time of your choice, then welcome all the same. We can do a catch up as well as it's alive, can't we? And it doesn't matter and it's fitter in a ball around when you choose to do it or when you can crowbar a bit of time in for yourself. Um, so if you are playing catch up, do drop us a, a note on the comments area. We do have a look at them throughout the day. I'm always flicking through my phone, looking at all the comments, reading them through and replying to them. Um, so feel free to throw some messages up on there for us. It'll be great to hear from you as always. Maddie's the first one through today. Good afternoon. How are you? Um, hopefully you're feeling well. Um, I've got some more stretches for front of thigh today. I think um, because I had to kind of sway out of bed at half, about half past three this morning with terrific cramp in the front of my thigh, I did a stretch but on the bedroom floor in the dark. Um, so front of thighs, I think we'll give those a bit of a stretch today in our, in our routine. Hey, good afternoon, um, George. Super G's in the house. And all the viewers, I hope they're not just viewing. I hope, I hope you're doing as you're viewing. You can't do if you're not going to view. And if you're viewing, you've got to be doing. I think that's about right. I think that, that sort of made sense in my head. Uh, hopefully it made sense for your ears. Um... So who else is coming in to join me today in this fine afternoon? It's kind of quite humid here in Leicester today. Um, didn't realise it was quite this warm. Neve and I, well Neve's not been very well so she's been on the sofa today. We did walk down to the village centre and got ourselves a nice pole. And uh, it was quite lovely. Just in time back for the movement mission though. Mrs Perry's here. Good afternoon to you. And you're saying hello to everybody else as well. Carol's in. I, I almost read that, Carol, as you'd been to a wedding. But it's not that exciting, is it? You've been weeding. <laughs> yep, so there's going to be all leaning over, all bending forwards um, when you're weeding there. So definitely we need to straighten your back up, lengthen you out again. Uh, you viewing and doing die as well. Lovely. I'd expect nothing less from you lot. Especially the first um, few of the, you that are in. You're our most seasoned, I feel, in the snack world. So yeah, we've got a little bit of focus on uh, a, a foot placement within our sway routine today. And we are going to have a bit of a focus on the, the good old front of thighs. They do do a lot of work for us throughout the day if we are walking upstairs. Um, walking up slopes if you're on one of these hikes um, there's a lot of work there for the fronts of thighs and within Bex's um, noontime <laughs> in Bex's noontime there was a bit of work for fronts of thighs as well we we're always asking you to switch these muscles on so it makes sense we'll stick a stretch in for them today Odeal's in uh, same weather here trying apple jelly this afternoon oh that sounds good it's about scrumping season isn't it i always declare to friends and family on facebook when it's scrump season is open and for those of you who don't know what scrumping is it's um i think it was wartime wasn't it when uh, the kids used to go out and pilfer some apples nick some apples off the trees um so that they could eat sneakily take them home and eat them and bake with them and stuff like that the mums and dads I'm sure sent the kids out I go with the kids and I lead the party right here we go um George is asking for a bend me shape me let's do this then oh Odile and Margaret what what have you been doing a bit warm wielding the iron you need that back stretch going on coming right up for you we will not disappoint you so sweep the comments to the side 321, good afternoon and welcome. It's officially 4 pm and it's that time of day again for our sway and stretch. Um, with me, Kelsey Leverton, and we're coming from quite a humid Leicestershire countryside today. 
Uh, we'll do a bit of circ boost as usual and we've got a couple of different stretches that I'll invite you to have a go at as well. So without further ado, let's get ourselves moving. We're back on short weather for today. <clears throat> so if you are in standing, come on Carol, let's crunch yourself out into this opened, lifted, lengthened posture, small adjustments, creaking yourself back into place. Same with you, Margaret. Have a go at opening the shoulders back and down, opening the chest even. We've got our weight even over both feet. Take up some support if you need to. You might be beginning to feel more steady, more confident on your feet, so reduce the support or you might want to reduce it, let go of it altogether. So start with some foot pedals or those straight into leg marches. If you're in your seated position, if you can, take some hip walks forwards, bringing yourself to the front third of the chair. If not, just sit your back up and away from the chair so you're in unsupported posture. That we're switching the muscles on here. If the legs are on your radar, let's get some heel pumps, foot pedals on the go. If you're not moving legs today in this movement mission, then you can start with some arm swings if you like. Either one arm, if you'd prefer to focus on one side first before changing over. Swinging from the shoulders there if you in your arm swing and bring it both in together when you're ready. Those of you who are foot pedaling or marching away, have a go at pointing the toes down, landing toes ball heel if we've got full march underway. If you like, you can keep your legs going and bring in an arm swing. So, same as I've just said in seated, swinging from the shoulder. At some point, you might want to change sides if you do need to hold on um, throughout, including arm and legs together. If you feel happy to release your su support and head into arm and leg marches together, you've got the full shebang here. All we need to do is try and keep the center of our body feeling strong as our arms and legs move around it. And just one other thing in seated, if you're not moving legs today for whatever reason, then bring in some arm rows just to switch it up a little bit from that arm swing. Uh, so hands are drawn towards the hip, elbow is travelling backwards there. Two or three minutes of circ boost just gives us enough to get us moving again to switch our warmth on within our body move the joints a little bit and really just warm up for when we get to our stretches. Stretches love to stretch with warm muscles. So take a pause there and if you have a go at just bringing your feet around hip distance apart in standing, same in seated, lengthening through the spine and if you remember from yesterday's sway we started keeping the gaze forwards by just reaching one arm across the body, drawing it back, fist towards the hip. Reaching across the body, drawing back, other fist to hip, there. Elbows are back, shoulder blades squeezed together. Just do a few of those. Keep it quite low, just a little bit lower than shoulders there. Gaze forwards. If you need to come between holding on and then changing sides and do what feels right for you in standing and if that feels okay uh, we'll add a gaze change in as well so as you reach across the body look over to that side and then draw back return the gaze to the center point and on the other side, look into the other side, trunk in the trip, twist, I think I've said before, and I do like that phrase, so we'll keep it. Trunk in the twist, round to the side, and bring in the fist towards the hip. Elbows back, Sh gap between your ears and shoulders remain, and we can go between our support here, changing arms. 
any head turn in standing and in seated can throw you a bit of a balance challenge. So make sure that head turns steady and you've got some support close by should you need to take it up. Have a rest there. Now in standing, we are going to attempt at doing a small side step to one side, feet closer together but not quite exactly together and then over to the other side again. If you want to be doing this side step in a seated position, then your side step will be quite minuscule. So within around hip and shoulder distance apart. Toes down first. Toes and then heel. All right. If you are in seated, legs are staying still today. Just continue on with the trunk twist and the reach across the body. It's going to look like this. Have, take a pause if you want to just have a look. So we're going to step to one side and the side that we're stepping to is the arm that's going across. And then the other arm, we step in the other direction. So your arm and leg on the same side are moving. Drawing back to the hips. Keep going with that if that feels all right. Just take a, a bit more rehearsal and practice of that. So you're essentially stepping away from the direction that you end up looking in with your gaze change. And that's exactly the same in seated. And we can do this in standing with some support if your balance needs it. Alternatively, just keep working on the arms here. Okay, so we shall end up with our feet around hip distance apart. We had, let me go through it, one step in, two steps and in, and then we did palm facing upwards, fist into elbow, one, two, three, totem pole, down, reaching down, stretching down, lengthening the posture. So let's have a go at that second part with one arm straight, knuckles into elbow area, change, change, fold the arms, grumpy totem pole, I think I called this yesterday, and down, lengthening up. So use that downward press to lift, lengthen your posture. All right, let's have a go at that full sequence if, that, if you're ready. Sit, stand tall to prepare, take a long deep breath in, have a think about which direction you're stepping in first and set off when you're ready. So one, drawing back, reaching across, drawing back. Let's do two more of those. And one more and keep your feet a gap between them and we've got straight arm knuckles in one more time grumpy totem and push down all right let's take that through one more time deep breath in have a think about what your options are where you need to be if you need support in standing if you're moving or not moving the legs in seated and take it away. Step in if you've got the step in, gaze in, two more of those. Try and draw a big semicircle with your arms. Are you ready? With forwards and switch and switch, grumpy totem and press down. Lovely, well done. Hopefully that's uh, coming together for you now. We've got a few more add-ons to come, but not just yet. Not today, that's for sure. Let's head into our stretches. So if you're in standing, you may do two of the upper body stretches here. Uh, you might want to have your hips just uh, near something that you can lean back on. If, you're, if you need it for your balance, that is. Otherwise, just come and head into a seated position 
come a bit closer actually, shall I? Okay, so wherever you are, in seated or in standing, just focusing on posture just for a moment. Take a couple of shoulder circles, up, round, back and down. Okay, I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to take my hands towards the back of the chair or the side of your hips, it depends what feels right for you and press the shoulder blades together, really squeeze the shoulder blades together. If you're holding on to the chair and you want a bit more out of the stretch, just tilt forwards a fraction. And that should not only open up into the chest and deep into the chest muscle and area, but into the front of the shoulders too. If we increase flexibility here, we can influence the mobility that we have around the shoulder joint itself. If these muscles are tight, they tend to have a dragging forwards effect on the posture. And you can see if my posture's closed over by and restricted by some tight muscles, it turns my back rounded and my head will come forwards. So this is all about opening stuff up. Upper um, side stretch then. So back of the arm is where you will feel it first. Ease the elbow up. Take a couple of deep breaths and on the next deep breath, blow out, lift up and relax there. And if you're going into a full stretch, have a go at extending the arm, holding onto the side of the chair or even um, a sideboard, whatever's close to you and extra reach all the way down, really from the wrist down to your hip now, three, two, one and get out of it. Change in sides then ease it up. If you're not doing the full stretch you might choose to hold this part of the stretch just that little bit longer. Elbows up, deep breath in, couple of deep breaths in and the next one breathing out, lift, 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 lengthen and recover. Go back into that stretch if you're not doing the full version, reaching up, reaching up, reaching up a little bit more and then extra stretch all the way from wrist down to hip is where you should feel that and come out of it, ease out of it, relax there. We're always riding up, isn't it, when we're doing that full stretch. Right, um, in seated then, let's everybody come down into a seated position and we shall get our back of thigh stretch done. So if you can be on towards the edge of the chair, then have a go at positioning yourself here. If you're in the back of the chair, then to get a stretch out of the back of the thigh, you might need to have a pouffe cushion or something like that, or a recliner chair that you can flip your legs onto later. And then you can have your leg up and lean forwards. Supported though. Here's the back of thigh stretch. So we've got one leg out straight, loose ankle, soft knee, hands on the bent knee and from a relaxed posture up 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 we go lifting lengthening shoulders back and down chest is open keep it that way as you tilt and lean into the stretch try not to turn your back into a rounded posture try and keep lifting the chest up and away out of the center of your body Notice where your shoulders are in this stretch. If they're up near your ears, have a go at just relaxing them down, pressing them away. Take a deep breath in. We're going to progress this stretch and ease into it a little bit more. And actually, you don't need to go that far to switch the stretch back in again and recover. So some good long stretches being held here. Organise the other leg, have a think about what your posture's up to, make those adjustments really lengthening, stay tall and tilt, you should feel that right at the back of the knee and up towards your hip, hold it there, hold it still, let the body relax into it, use your breathing to help it along if that feels alright as well. Next deep breath in, as you breathe out, 
edge into the stretch a fraction further if you feel you can. Shouldn't be painful, it should be uncomfy, mildly uncomfortable. And recover there. Okay, we're going to head into a calf stretch and then have a go at a front of thigh stretch. Now in seated, you'll find it really tricky to do a front of thigh stretch. So you'll repeat the back of thigh stretch that we've just done, which will be really important for these muscles when they're in a seated position, the back of thigh and the calf as well. Here's a calf stretch then. So in standing first, we've got hold of some support in front of us. Stand tall, step back, take a good stride back, but this stride mustn't be too long. We need to be able to get the heel down at the back. Uh, toes are pointing forwards, all of them at, ten, uh, at uh, 12 noon, we're pointing and lean into it. Just bend the front knee a fraction, keeping the back leg long. Hold it there. It, to increase that stretch in standing, bend the front knee a little bit more. So you've kind of lunged a bit more into it. And here's your seated option. Toes are up, your body posture is up. Pulling the toes back and just trying to scoot the heel under a little bit more to get this area really lengthening. If you're in standing and you're ready to switch sides, have a go now. Pressing the heel down on the back leg in standing, changing legs in seated. Pulling the toes really far back, far back as you can in seated and just trying to scoot the heel a little bit further under to get right into the belly of the calf muscle. Okay, just a few more seconds there then. And if you're staying in seated, have a go at repeating the back of thigh stretch with the loose ankle and the leaning forwards. I'll leave you to do that. And then here in standing, we're gonna have a go at a front of thigh stretch. So this, these are the muscles that cramped me last night. I ended up on the floor going, ah, help me, and nobody came. <laughs> So if you've got the joint mobility and the balance to get your heel up towards your bottom, you may be able to take hold of your foot. The knees are close together and I'm having to hold on here or else I'd be wibbling wobbling all over the place. That might be a bit far off for some of you, but don't worry, here's an option. I can have a ledge behind me, doesn't have to be as high as a chair but I'll use the chair as it's there both hands onto the support think about what leg you're lifting and just place the foot onto it now from there your standing knees is soft try not to lock that leg out rigid with your hips here's the tilt forward so squeeze your buttocks press your hips forwards and you should get that into the hip and right down the front of your thigh. So the foot's relaxed there at the back. Our bottom is needing to clench to push our hips forwards into that. You may not need to push forwards quite as much if those muscles are feeling the stretch just as you get them into place there. Let's have a go at the other side. If you're in seated, Remember, you're doing your back of thigh stretch repeat. So the knees are close together and I'm just going to push my hips forwards. You can see my standing leg is just slightly bent. You don't have to bend it up like that. I'm just demonstrating that I'm not fully locked out and rigid within the knee joint. Pushing the hips forwards and recover. So your ledge here might be just that little bit lower, but do make sure you've got something to hold on to. All right. I think that's us done, Movement Mission crew. So remember, it's never a failure if you do it daily. I think I put that on my welcome message, didn't I? But I quite like that ditty. It's never a failure if you do it daily 
and this every little bit counts weren't that on a supermarket advert every little bit counts and it does your testament of that and uh, hopefully um, those stretches went down well with your body your body is agreeable to those stretches and those of you who were in seated today with that front of thigh stretch if you're able to manoeuvre yourself onto your tummy and lie on your tummy in bed you may be able to lift your heel towards your bottom and push your hips into the into the bed that you're lying on to get a stretch out of it that way if you have a go at that let us know how you get along take care you lot i'll catch you tomorrow bye now okay.